In practice it, self check 4.5 is if else mystery 1. We are given the following method and we need to, for each method call, write the output that's produced. So first we have this method call where we have a 3 and a 20 being passed into our method. So our integer x is 3 and our int y is 20. When we get in here our z is going to equal 4 and if our x is greater than our z or greater than or equal to our z we are going to be in this if statement however since it's not we are not going to be in here we will be in our else statement so in our else statement we have z is equal to z plus 9 so that means z is going to be equal to 4 plus 9 or z is going to equal 13 after this row now we have if z is less than or equal to y we have to do a y plus plus so our z is 13 our y is 20 our z is less than our 20 so we're going to do y plus plus that means our y is now going to equal 21 so when we have our print line statement right here we are printing out our z a space and then y so we have 13 and then 21 next we have this next method call where we're passing in a 4 and a 5 so our x is going to equal 4 and our y is going to equal 5. As always, our int z is equal to 4. Now we are going to compare z if it's less than or equal to x. It is less than or equal to x because z is 4 and x is 4. So we are going to be inside of this if statement right here. We have z is equal to x plus 1. So now z is e going to equal to 4 plus 1. So z is equal to 5. We are going to skip over this else statement since we've been in this if statement. And now we have to look at this next if statement right here. We have if z is less than or equal to y, we are going to do a y plus plus. z is 5, y is 5. Since it can be equal, we have to increment y by 1. So now y is going to equal not 5, but 6. So in this part right here, we are going to have a um, z, which is 5, and then our y, which is now 6. In our next method call, we are passing in a 5 and a 5, so we have a 5 here and a 5 here. Our integer z is equal to 4 is being declared right here, and we have our if statement. So if our z is less than or equal to x, we are going to do this. And since our z is 4, our x is 5, we are going to be inside of this if statement, not this else statement, so we can cancel that out. And our z is going to be equal to x plus 1, so z is equal to 5 plus 1 or z is equal to 6. Next we have to look at this if statement right here. If z is less than or equal to y, we are going to be in here. z is 6, y is 5, so since y is less than z, we are not going to be in here, and we're going to get right into our print line statement, where we have our z, which is 6 being printed, and then we have our y, which is going to be 5, that is printed. Next we're passing in 6 and 10, so our x is 6, y is 10, integer z is equal to 4. We are going to see if z is less than or equal to x. It is, since our z is 4, x is 6. So we are going to be in this if statement, not in this else statement. Our z is now going to be equal to 6 plus 1, or z is equal to 7. We now go into this if statement right here, and we look to see if we can execute it. z is 7, y is 10. Since y is greater than or equal to z, we are going to be in here. We have to increment y by 1, so now y is going to equal 11. When we print this out, we are printing out our z, which is a 7, with a space, and then our y, which is 11. So if we put that in with the rest of our answers here and submit this, we have passed all four tests. So this is the correct answer to this practice it self-check problem.